on it's your boy Malik Thomas and we are back with another tutorial today we got the JB tutorial on this very chilly cold day in Chicago but it's like 42 degrees right now and I'm out here making a tutorial for y'all y'all can't say I don't rock with y'all and on top of that it's windy so I highly doubt you probably hear me right now but on today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to do the Gaga aka the crisscross aka the lock and I will be showing you how to short step and long step. Hopefully the audio won't be too muffled to the point where you can't hear me because it's very windy out here. I see why they call Chicago the windy city. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that bell so you never miss another video upload. Let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. We out. Okay, so the first move we're gonna learn today is going to be the Gaga, AKA the crisscross, AKA the locket. This is a very notorious move that you see in the JB skate community. We even do it to make it funky by James Brown and we have a sequence that we perform. And it's just a traditional thing. The Gaga consists of doing an interlocking motion on your toes. It's kind of like why it's nicknamed the crisscross. You are crisscrossing your legs. If you've seen at the beginning of the video, I did a demonstration of it. But now I will be walking you through how to do it. Let's go ahead. Okay, to start the tutorial, the first thing I want you to do before you do the Gaga, aka the crisscross, aka the locket, is we are gonna do a couple toe balance exercises because this technique actually requires you to be on your toes. So we are gonna go ahead and balance on our two front wheels for 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and start with that and then we can move forward to step one and step two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you are still uncomfortable with your balance on your toes, go ahead and practice that a couple times before proceeding to the next step. So now for step one of doing the Gaga, first thing you will wanna get used to is crossing your legs over. So stepping over, the best idea would to be on learning how to do both sides, rather if it's your right foot over your left or your left foot over your right. And I want you to simply cross over and tilt the foot that's in front just parallel just a little bit maybe like at a 45 degree angle i want you to do like a snapping locking motion as shown this is going to be step one of how to do the gaga i will show a smaller screen so that you're able to see my feet and see the motion somewhere in the video once again it can be your left or your right and just come into a locking motion while tilting the foot that's in front simply just at maybe about 45 degrees it is more so a corkscrew motion so just practice that a couple times coming at a corkscrew motion your shins are gonna clash with each other when you are doing this so if you don't feel that little space in between connecting then you will not be doing it correctly and that is step one of learning how to do the Gaga. All right, let's go ahead and move on to step two of learning how to do the Gaga. So step two is the part that requires you to go on your two front wheels. It is going to be the same motion. The only thing that we are going to add is crossing on our two front wheels. So as we come up and we're crossing over, we are simply gonna balance on our two wheels in the same format. So you are still gonna have your right leg come forth and cross over or your left leg come forth and cross over your opposite leg and you are simply gonna cross you're gonna do an interlocking motion with your legs while on your two front wheels as shown here's a demonstration for you one two three four five six seven eight once again pay attention one more time lock on our toes come back down we're gonna bring the other side up lock come back down if you follow the instructions correctly that is how to do the gaga aka the crisscross aka the locket let's go ahead and move on to the next set of moves all right now so the next tutorial i will be showing you is how to do the long step short step these techniques actually pair with each other hand in hand when you are doing jb and it is a simple short step and long step like the name says if you watch the beginning of the video again you'll be able to see me do both of these techniques the short step long step and the gaga and that's just kind of giving you an example of what you will be learning today so as we move into doing the short step long step i will note this for you that you will do the gaga stationary 
and you will do the short step, long step in motion. It is best done in motion. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Most of the JB moves that you are learning will all play hand in hand with each other from all the other tutorials that I also put up. When you are doing a short step or a long step, you are also going to always start with your four corners in the back. Also can be called the bucky walk. So when you lift and you have your left leg behind your right, you're going to come place it right behind your knee. And you are simply going to cross over and step over your right foot that's grounded. And you are going to do the same thing with your right foot, lift up, cross over your left, and back to your standing position. So you can do this multiple times while you are rolling. You can do it down an entire straightaway when you are in a roller rink or if you are outdoors at a tennis court or anywhere that you skate. The only difference between a short step and a long step is that a short step is going to be a simple short crossover as shown and the long step is going to be a kick out so you're going to do the same technique same motion but with long step you are going to kick out and then cross over so you're going to go to the back again kick out then cross over again and what your upper body is going to be doing rather if you are kicking out doing a short step or a long step you are simply going to rotate your top half to whichever direction it, that your leg is kicking out. So if you're kicking out to the left, you see how my body is facing towards the left, and I'm going to step over. I'm going to be towards the right, body is going to kick out to the right, and step over. So whichever direction your leg is kicking out, that is the direction that your upper half is going to follow. So if you're kicking out to the left, my body is going to follow towards the left. If you are kicking out to the right, my body is going to follow to the right. So I'm going to show you the short step and long step in motion so you'll have a better idea. And then we can go ahead and move on. This is a short step. Behind, step over. Behind, step over. Behind, step over. Smooth motion. You do not have to rush this. Take your time and feel the music. A long step. Kick out, step over, kick out, step over, kick out. And that is how you short step and long step. Watch the videos a couple times, rewind the video, take your time and practice, get your rhythm down packed, and like I always say, practice makes perfect. I really wanted to get this tutorial out despite how cold it is outside in Chicago right now. That should just tell y'all right there how loyal and dedicated I am to giving you guys the sauce, giving you guys these amazing tutorials, teaching you how to skate from home so that when you go to the rink or in the next time you skate, you'll be able to have something to practice. One thing I'll say before I end this tutorial, here's a tip for both moves. The crazy leg is also a good combination to do with the gaga. If you have been to Chicago and you've been in the rinks when a make it funky song plays and you see a lot of us get the gaga line going, you'll see that we do the crazy legs as well with it. So practice that as well if you haven't learned it already. The second thing I would say with the long step, short step tutorial, try to think of it as you are putting your legs in a number form and the number would be a four. So when you are putting your legs behind, you are going to have a forward motion. Your left or right leg is going to be bent behind your leg that's grounded and it should make a number four. Make sure you stretch before attempting this and make sure you get your balance together as well. But other than that, if you appreciate the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you never miss another video drop. Thank you guys for tuning into the tutorial and I'll see you on the next one. We out. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right.